Uh, Bring your umbrella with you today. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, don't want to learn that lesson the hard way as we have some rain showers, especially east of the parkway right now in parts of south side. You can see the rain really filling in in Martinsville right now. We had a little bit of a break not long ago, but you see the rain showers becoming more steady in parts of Henry County. All of this, by the way, moving south to north, so Rocky Mount, you're next as well as Sidnersville and then eventually working its way into the Roanoke Valley. All this red you see right here, that's actually some snowflakes melting before they hit the ground. So radar kind of overestimating what's going on around Smith Mountain Lake. Nonetheless, some pockets of heavier rain certainly possible as you look south toward Danville and South Boston. All of this continues to move from south to north into parts of Campbell and Appomattox counties. Meanwhile, farther to the north as we go into parts of Augusta, uh, Rockbridge and Amherst counties, things are a little lighter, a little more of the drizzle variety as we get the morning started out. But as you see here on future tracker, this one area of low pressure going to keep us under the clouds and the rain for quite some time this morning as you go from Roanoke to Lynchburg and south side. And then as we head toward the middle of the day, a good break in the action for a large percentage of the viewing area. The exception may be being parts of Lynchburg and Appomattox County. Maybe maybe mainly, excuse me, some hit or miss rain showers late this afternoon into the evening before we start to dry things out later tonight into the first half of tomorrow. So for today, high temperatures in the middle to possibly upper 50s, dodging some scattered showers. Then things turn really windy, especially west of the parkway tomorrow. Wind speeds anywhere from 10 to 25 miles per hour. Peak gusts anywhere from 35 to 50 miles per hour. So keep in mind that's not going to be the entire time, but wind gusts could get quite that high. Staying breezy on Saturday with temperatures in the 50s. Check it out. 60s on Sunday. Goose egg there, goose egg there as far as rain chances go. This could be the first back to back dry weekends in our area since July and early August. So yeah, weekends, dry weekends at that kind of hard to come by here in recent months. But in the meantime, we're looking forward to it. Race weekend actually not looking too bad as we're kind of split between 50s on Saturday, 60s Sunday. Rain chances return by Monday and then the cold air returns by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week.